If you want to know how you can make a game like Speedrun 4 under 20 minutes, make sure to watch this video all of the way to the end and I will be explaining everything to make this game successful. Hey guys and welcome back to this video. This video I want to be making a little um, game like Speedrun 4 under like 15 minutes or 10. Let's see what uh, how long the tutorial is gonna be. But like um, uh, Speedrun 4 is a pretty easy based game and it is not hard to make at all. So I'm gonna make the best out of this video and um, we should do that. Yes. If you haven't subscribed yet, go do that right now because like 80% of my viewers have not been subscribed to me and it would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. It's free, no cost, no money. It's completely free. And of course, if you're gonna become a member of my channel, go go down and click the uh, blue join button and you can buy uh, three tiers and then I will um, and then I will give you some specialized perks um, so you can like enjoy. Anyways, we can start off right now. So first of all, you want to be making one part. You just click this. Then, you want to click select and then just drag it around wherever you want. If you look at speedrun, they have it like yellow. Like this. Then they have it yellow and they have it neon. So this will be your like pad. Like, um... This is going to be your speed pad. You should name it speed pad. Then insert a script. You want to type? Uh, let me zoom in. Yep. Script. Dot parent. Dot uh, touched. Close next to the function of a hit. If hit the parent colon find first child humanoid. Then so. Um, if there is a player, like, if this part get touched, the script will find if it's a humanoid. So if it is a player, only players have a humanoid, or NPCs, whatever they want. Humanoids are only in persons. So then you can do local player is equals to game dot players colon get player from character hit the parent. Like that. Then what you can do is local debounce. Uh, equals equals to true, equals to true. Sorry, and then if debounds is equals equals to true, then debounds equals to false. Debounds equals to true. But instead of this, we're gonna uh, script something. So you can do player dot um humanoid dot walk speed is equals to one hundred, and player dot humanoid dot jump. Power is equals to 150. And make sure to capitalize the W and the S and the J and P because that's really important in this case. So what we can do now is weight 0.5. So people will not uh, abuse the system. So let's test that out. Okay, anchor, can collide false, play here. Alrighty. So if we step on this, we get an error. Oh goody. Humanoid is not a valid member. Oh, I get the point. So player dot character dot humanoid. Player dot character dot humanoid. Like that. And play here. Yep, and as you can see, we walk over our uh, thing. And we can jump really high and we can rock and roll. So that is the first thing you want to do in a speedrun game. Uh, if you actually are a little uh, bit curi uh, curiosity, you can do like print player dot name dot dot has um, activated the speed. Has activated the dot dot script dot parent dot name. Well, speed pad. And then once you've done that, you can click play here. And then now that's done. So you can just go over here and then go down. New Derpy Dev has touched the speed pad. Yeah, but you, want, might, you might want to get a cooldown on that. Yeah. You can make like 
five seconds. And now it's, oh, wait, wait. Oh, it's probably because, like, we're touching. Yeah. I th yeah, I'm false. Yep. I was completely right. Well, that is the first thing we have done to make our speedrun game, and that is really cool. So, um, I'm gonna be making a little map right now, and, um, we'll, we'll find out if it's good. We've made our um, little map. I'm gonna be anchoring everything. I'm gonna be um, making a folder for like, oh, not frame, a folder just to make it like map. And we can put everything inside of that map because um, we want our game a bit clean and not a complete mess. Okay, so I'm gonna actually play this out because I like my own creation. I think. Well, anyways. So if we go over here, boom, boom. I know you can just immediately jump over here, but that's not really the case. Just boom. Okay. And we're at the end. So, uh, what you do need is um, you need to copy the script. Oh, I forgot. Oh, it's in terrain. Oops. I'm gonna put it in map. But now you wanna copy this script. Like this. Oh. Um. Control A, Control C. Then click the script away. Don't delete it. You wanna make. You wanna copy that uh, speed pad and you wanna name this the kill pad. Because if a player falls, we want them dead. And not, um. Alive. So we're just gonna make this lava ish thingy like that that's a bit too neon hold up um yeah like that should be good and then instead of over here has uh died via the i have died via the uh skill pad and then over here you see player dot character dot humanoid the walk speed so you want to delete this line over here and then instead of walk speed you want to do health and you want to set that to zero like that now if we play our game play here if we go over here now whoa oh no we died boom we die so that is um, cool. So that is the basics of making a uh, speedrun game. So um, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be making a um, a little portal so we can teleport to the next um, area. So you can just make it. Um, I'm going to make it easy like this. I'm going to make it like a winner's part because why not? Uh, neon, 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 neon. Yep. Um, so you want to name this the teleport pad and again you want to copy the script control a control c then you want to go into teleport pad anchored on can collide on and i start a script and you want to paste that in and then over here player that character that humanoid root part the position is equals to game the workspace the teleport next area like that. The position. So, what I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna copy this, all of it. Because, uh, yeah, you can copy it. And then I'm gonna paste right over here. And then this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna not put a pad over there. So, um, over here, you wanna make a part. And you wanna put it like here, like a bit above. You wanna anchor it on. Can't fly false. I'm gonna name this the teleport next area. 
So what we just did is, um, if you touch this part, the script will know someone touched it. So it has teleported via teleport pad. So the script knows, oh no, someone touched it, and then it will render, and then, aha, I have to go over here. So if we go play. Okay, over there. Now we can whoa, okay. Boing, boing, boing. Okay, I'm just gonna. Ooh, <laughs> almost died there. So over here, if we touch this part, boom, we get teleported. And then we can uh, do it again. And then you die. So, well, anyways, there's one last thing um, I want to be doing. And that is over here. And then press enter player dot character dot humanoid the walk speed is equals to 16 and player dot character dot humanoid root part uh humanoid sorry character dot humanoid dot jump power is equals to 50 50 is normal um so i'm gonna yep zoom in so this uh, would be your script player character humanoid root part. You can pause if you want, and then these lines fit perfectly. So um, that should be pretty easy. So let's test this in a final way out. Play. play. Uh, we spawned at the wrong thingy. How is that possible? How do we spawn over here? There's no spawn location. Oh wait, there's two spawn. Oh, okay, that that was my fault. I if you duplicate, you're gonna get a new spawn location. So I'm gonna delete that and then over here, boing. Whoa, what is that? Ooh, just as I expected. So this one's um moved up. Hold up. Um. Oops. Um, okay, I believe I messed that up, okay, never mind, I didn't, then over here, and, um, play. Okay, we can go over here, boom, and boing, and boing, and over here, if we go through the part, we walk normally again, then, and then we can, uh, touch the part, and then over here, doing. Well, what you could do, that's the, that's the very last thing we're gonna do. If you want a winner's part, so like, if you actually wanna win over here, you can do winner's pad, and then inside of replicated storage, you wanna may make a remote event, like that. And then you wanna make it into the winner's pad, you want to tell you want to delete these then player dot name has won the game by touching the winner's pad and then over here you can do game dot replicated storage dot um remote event call fire client uh player like that and then you can go into starter gui and you can click stream gui you can make a text label in it, and you can make it background transparency 1, and then size 1, 0, 1, 0, and position 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0.5, 0, and then an anchor point, you want to do the same, 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5, and now it's directly in the middle. You can do text scale, and do, use whatever font you want. Um, I like you have one congratulations I'm gonna make it yellow no I'm gonna make it big so that is your text label and I am actually well congrats and then inside here instead of screen GUI you want to make a local script and then game that replicated Game dot replicate is storage dot remote event dot on client event call connect to the function of a nothing and then script dot parent 
the text label visible is extra true wait uh, three script apparent the text label are visible equals to false and that is it so you want to make the text label visible off and then over here we're gonna do one last test we should be good to go so we can go over here I'm gonna make it easy right now so we can test and then boom and we are normal walk speed again and then we can now go like this oh no that was my mistake truly my mistake we're gonna do, we're gonna do that again because we're just gonna respawn oh no okay there so now if you touch this pad you have one congrats and then after three seconds it disappears so if you enjoyed this video do not forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video peace out